Ooh, football player. Let's um give him a little something something here. <laughs> I love it. That never gets old. Oh, man. Thank you, Jesus, for an auto shotgun. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are playing on Alpha 19 Experimental Build 173. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and if you do, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, it doesn't take any effort, and it does help the channel. If you don't like what you see, please consider leaving me a constructive comment, and a factual one, and help me to improve. Guys, we have a busy episode. we got lots of things planned for today. Um, so we're going to start off the episode by looking at some skill points. Um, so we're going to go into here and... Um, I've been working on pumping up perception, and so we're going, to, we have two points too, by the way. So we're going to put one of those points into Demolitions Expert, so we can do a little bit more uh, damage on Horde Knight. And I think it's time for us to bump up our, our, our um, sniper rifle skills as well. Now we can actually make the sniper rifle, but the problem is if I make it now, it's going to be a yellow one. It requires 60 forged steel. Yeah, we probably better wait until... I can I get a crucible and I can start making my own steel. That's pretty expensive for us right now. So we'll hold off on this for a little bit longer. Um, so what I want to do is I want to take everything out of here. And we're going to go do some selling. And then after that, we're going to head uh, to the east. And we have a buried treasure quest. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, buried treasure quest. Not the one from the trader, but an actual buried treasure, you know, like Taylor's or whatever. And then um, to uh, a turn in from the last quest and then two new tier three quests that we need to do off that direct all off that direction okay so let's go ahead and um yeah let's let's burn one of those what the hell might as well another stranger in need i've got what you're looking for okay so we're gonna let's go ahead and sell first everything should be repaired and we currently have seven about seven thousand dukes a little more so let's see what we end up with um, one of you guys reminded me in the comments that it's a good idea to put, if we have any spare mods, to put them on, you know, armor or something like that before we sell them, because then it increases the value significantly. So I, you know, all, all of these things that are modded are just spare mods that I have that I don't really need to hang on to. Um, and so, you know, th we're going to be able to sell this for almost 2,000 dukes, uh, which is pretty damn good. Um... Well, there is one other comment day. that you guys made too, I'm glad I could help you. and that is that one of the things that I didn't want to give up was the bandolier mod, uh, but you did remind me that I could also put that on my leg armor. So if we did that, we could give up the cold, because that's not something we need, you know, all the time to do that, and then we could put the bandolier in its place, and then that would allow us to we'd have to give up i'd probably give up the muffled connectors because we could still put the triple and the you know the customize on here and then that would give us uh, a gain in just about every way for um chest armor you know let's do that i think that's probably a good plan so let's take both of these things down here um and then let's see we want to modify this and we're going to pull the bandolier off. Actually, we're going to pull everything off for the moment. And then we're going to modify this. And we'll probably put these two things on here and sell it. Okay. And then we're going to modify this. Put the triple on and the customized. And then we're going to wear this. Okay, and then let's modify this. We'll take the insulated off and we'll put the that on there. And yeah, I think that's that's good. That's good. Okay, so let's wear this. 
I do want to hang on to this in case we do at some point decide to go off into the snow biome and I want to hang on to these advanced muffled connectors for when we do our stealth build later on which is the tentative plan at this point. Okay let's go ahead and continue on so now we're gonna we're gonna just sell this we're still gonna get 1500 coin out of this. Um, do we want to burn a repair kit? Yeah, what the Don't hell? Repair kits are cheap. We can make those. On your way out. So we're 1506 if, if we does, repair hey, this. We'll take care of it for you. What did she just say? <laughs> oh yeah, that was definitely worth it. Look how much more money just repairing it by th that small amount uh, made. I, I missed what she said, but it sounded kind of snarky. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's see. So, okay, we'll sell this. Okay, so we ended up with, we, we basically doubled our coin, and, and then a little bit more, so good. That's good. We, we'll take these with us and see if uh, Trader Hugh will buy them I hope uh, from us. Better. All right, guys, so I'm going to go back to the base, drop off the, the food and these two mods, and then we're going to go um, here. We're going to do our trade-in with Trader Hugh. We've got Taylor's treasure map, we've got this tier 3 fetch and clear, and then when we're done with all that stuff, we're going to head up here to this town, uh, to Trader Jin's sister's town, and do this tier 3 clear. So I will meet you at Trader Hughes. Okay, let's do our turn in. Speak quickly. Well, you did that. <coughs> okay, so I suppose you want to be paid. All right, we already know Great Heights Volume 5. I have plenty of antibiotics back at the base, so we'll take the steel spear. And just turn right around and sell it. Uh, we get 660 XP and 1889 Dukes. All right, let's go ahead and take. We're let's see. So we're going to the northeast. So we could do this fetch. Um, however, this fetch and clear is probably right back on our own. Well, shoot, that's only a, a, a tier two though. Um, this one is 1.4. Something for me. Household mansard. Okay, yeah, let's Fantastic. just do that one. Fantastic. Now, um, I only have a little bit more time left on my sugar butt, so let's sell all of this stuff back to him. And that leaves us with 17,471 coin. Let's take a quick look at his inventory. He's got a marksman rifle. Muscle break. Already know the ranger's guide. Okay, let's check the main inventory. He's got a Magnum. I, you know, I kind of, if we buy that, we get that extra, I think it's a 5% increase in our trading skill. Um, plus we could use it. I don't know if I want to dump 5,000 coin on that right now, though. I, th I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait on that. It was tempting, though. Forge steel. We need this for Horde Knight, so we're just going to buy that straight up for repairing. Tactical assault rifles. They're pretty shitty levels, though. Yeah, we're going to eventually come across one of those. Um, oh, he's got even more magnums. See, if he had like a level one magnum, I would buy it. And just, I wouldn't actually use it to kill zombies so much, but I would use it, you know, for the buff that we get. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't want to spend money on that. Okay, so I think that's good. Um, and that gives us another 41 steel that we can add to on your way. whatever I have back at the base. It's not a, a ton. And we'll also check Trader Jen's sister for steel when we get up there, too. Let's buy some more Rockbusters, chicken, and a yucca juice smoothie. Okay, so we'll put the moolah in there and the steel. Uh, we're pretty good on food and water, so let's just hang on to those for later. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go do that buried treasure quest. Um, and that is right here in town. Taylor's treasure. Let's go do it. Look at that. Wow. That was quick. Why is it... Wait, why is it locked? What? Why the hell is it locked? Is that something new? 
That's weird. All right, well, I mean, it's not a problem. I'm just curious why it's locked. It's never been locked before. Oh, for Pete's sake. You mother... <laughs> what the hell? Finally. <sighs> all right. Ooh, 6,000 coin. That's... That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Whoa. Wow, I just, like, jetted right up. Next is our fetch and clear. So that's going to be this quest here. Um... Right here. So we'll make that the active quest. And let's go do it. Well, looky here. We've got an airdrop, too. Did I happen to mark that one? I don't think so, because the only drop that I have marked is about two kilometers from here. Cool. All right. Let's check it out. Okay, robotic turret schematic. And food. Food meds. Oh man, this is the same house that we did uh, a, a, a couple of quests ago. Same exact house. We can't even double loot it. I hate that. That's the one thing, you know, and I've heard from some of you guys in the comments that you're having the same issue. They really need to fix the quest so that it doesn't give us the same building over and over and over, you know? Because, uh, that's broken. <laughs> yeah, we can't even double loot this place. All right, well, guys, we're going to speed run this. Uh, we'll probably just do, like, a little music montage thing. So I'll see you at the end. Let's do it. Look at that. I would have been so pissed, you guys, if we would have bought that Magnum. Oh, man. How lucky is that? Awesome. Frickin' awesome. Okay. Um, let's, um, let's just keep trucking while I have my, um, my, uh, candy's still active here. Okay. <laughs> Let's just drink these now to to get them uh, out of the way. <laughs> I can't believe that. No, I can believe it. I can believe it.
right, guys. So that's it for that uh, that building. Um, <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do is go home and just drop off, and then I'll meet you guys up here at this next uh, tier three. Uh, we have a fetch and a clear in this town. Um, so I'll just meet you over there so that way we're not going all the way up there with a full inventory and then not have enough room for stuff. So I'll see you over there in a bit. I figure since we're back in town, we might as well do uh, Jenny's turn in too. Let's just get that knocked out really quick. Well, that didn't take long. Okay, we've got a green AK, uh, three big first aid kits. Uh, yeah, definitely think we'll take the green AK. We get 6750 XP and 2100 Dukes. Uh, all right, let's take your next job, pre preferably to the northeast, if you have anything to the northeast. Uh, you got an, one to the east and some to the north. This one is really close. I let's think do I've that got one. a job or two. Oh, that's the business trip. I like the business trip. I had trip. a good feeling about you. Okay. Uh, business trip's going to take a little bit longer, so we'll probably do that one in the next episode. So, yeah, let me go get uh, stuff dropped off, and then I'll meet you uh, in Trader Jin's sister town. Okay, guys, we are here at our next quest location. I have done this one before. I haven't done it uh, in Alpha 19 yet, but I have done it in uh, earlier alphas of the game. So I believe the fat loots are on the roof, so let's just cheese up there and grab them real quick. Um, I don't think I have any more eye candy with me, which kind of sucks, but whatever. This is a very steep roof. Yeah, let's just break in right here. I think the fat loot's in the... up here. I can't remember now. Ooh, football player. Let's, um... give him a little something-something here. <laughs> I love it. That never gets old. Okay, where's everybody coming from? Up here? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> wow! That's nuts! <laughs> that was intense! Oh, man. Thank you, Jesus, for an auto shotgun. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy, you guys. Okay, so... <laughs> it looks like the fat loot's actually probably gonna be up there. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh... Let's see if we can cheese up there from here. I might hang on to that baton. Who knows? We might give it a try someday. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Alright. I don't think... Is this better than what we got? It is not. We might as well kill all the riled up zombies because they're not going to go away when we reset. And that way we can... Um, uh, oh, nice. Shotgun truck one. That way we can uh, get the XP from them anyway. Ooh, safe. Whoa! Okay, not bad. I think that, I think that's it for all of them, right? I don't hear anymore. Might as well grab this ammo, <laughs> and we get a, a shotgun choke too, in addition to the mod. That's kind of a funny thing to find in the, in a dresser. Another purple baton. Interesting. Okay, cool. Freaking Larry the Lumberjack, man. Down here, buddy. Get you right in the nuts. Anybody else? Okay, let's do this. This is a fetch quest.
this part of the building's in the snow biome. Working workbench. A biker. Wake up, guys. <laughs> Nothing up there. Got another skill point. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that into um, Lucky Looter. Increase our loot um, loot chance of better loot is what I'm trying to say. Oh, nice. You know what? We actually could use that right now. Let's take it. Two mineral waters. We'll hang on to that for later. We'll hang on to that for later. We'll sell that. I'm not taking the blunderbuss ammo, though. Whoa! What the hell? What was that? That was weird. Hmm. Anything else up here? I don't think so. Let's head on up. We are gonna... What? Hacks. Total hacks. Ronald McDonald, don't break the medical supplies, please. Whoa. Will you die? Damn. Feral Ronald McDonald. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, we got the satchel. I think I'm gonna just leave that leather. We got plenty of leather. All right. Is there any radiators in here that I missed? Doesn't look like it. Hi, Fido. That sounds like they're downstairs. Oh, they might, maybe they're just in there. Hold still. <laughs> All right, we got some luggage in here. Screamer? Did she just kill herself on some spikes or something? Sounds that way. Say goodnight, Gracie. He said goodnight. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Okay, there's the safe. We'll hit that later. 
Okay, this is this room. All right, come to Papa. Gross. We already know that. We're going to have to go um, do a drop off. That has blue, yeah, man. I just want black for our stealth build. Purely for role playing reasons. Okay, let's pop back out of here and just go drop off our uh, a load of stuff. Whoa. We'll go this way. Okay, let's check the safe. Okay. Checked in there. I think I'm just going to scrap that. That we will take, though. In fact, let's just take it. Actually take it. up here. I think they already dropped down on our head. Okay, let's pop this open and wrap things up here. That's a lot of nice parts. Okay. And we're out of space again. Let's eat this. And we can ditch... Well, here, let's just open this first and see what's in here. Okay, so those are probably worth fixing up and selling. So what I'm going to do is... How's our food? Our food is topped off, so I don't want to just burn a food for that. So I think what we're going to do is... Let's drink this. And we'll just leave the rest. Hate to do it, but that's the least most important thing in our inventory. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Um, where is our turn-in? Yeah, our turn-in's way back down here. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay here because, I mean, I know we're completely loaded up. But what I'd like to do is go to uh, Trader Jen's sister. She's over here. And maybe see if we can sell some stuff to her to clear up some inventory. And then we'll come back and we'll do this Tier 3. And depending upon how things go in the next episode, we might actually hit this bookstore that I've marked, too. That that might not be a bad idea to do that. Uh, so that's the plan for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.